Sprint or no Sprint in Unreal 5, resolve this now. <laughs> Save us, Lord Kevin. <laughs> kind of curious what like the Unreal 5 remake, right? That we'll probably gonna get if the combat evolved, right? Pretty much every leak we ever hear about Halo is accurate for the most part. I feel like with the recent Joseph Sane news, it could be, it's a little misunderstanding of the situation and running with it rather than what sounding what it actually is, right? I wanna to point to what uh, Marcus Leto's mentioned about this Combat Evolved Anniversary 2.0 <laughs> remake, right? Cause I think what he stated, which was rather broad, but I think it really fits with what I would like to see because personally, I wouldn't want to see like a one-to-one -one recreation with it. I want to see something new with it, maybe because I'm just like a jaded Halo kid and I just want to see some new stuff uh, with Halo rather than rely so much on nostalgia, even though nostalgia is pretty much an easy W and that's why they want to make a CE remake. But this right here, I think really echoes what I want to see. Whereas Marcus Leto, the guy who was like the art director, right? Co-founder of Halo, right? Co-creator. Because it was replying to Ryan McCaffrey saying a remaster of CE seems wild to me. Uh, I just don't get why they do this kind of thing. 25 year old game, they already had previously, but released on PlayStation, yada, 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 you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, but what Marcus Leto said about it, I think is really interesting saying, it's like, what if cut missions, weapons, characters, and storyline elements were reintegrated along with more contemporary core mechanics that improve gameplay while remaining faithful to the original. Yes, that that right there is exactly what I want right there. I think I might even reply to this and yes, exactly this. Obviously 343 doesn't want to hire uh, Bungie people even though they literally brought out Joseph Staten. Uh, back during Infinite's development, but yeah, whatever. I, actions speak louder than words. That kind of makes you think like, how would you improve the Halo Combat Evolved? Like we had SPV3, right? They kind of did a little bit, little bit of this. They kind of like took C and just kind of expanded on it. Where like SPV3 was a really interesting mod where they kind of took like cut content, added it to the game, created some new areas and things like that. And kind of like, it was kind of like a, like a creative remaster in a way, which I actually had a lot of fun playing SPV3. It was really cool. And they took a lot of weapons that were cut from Combat Evolved, made them functional, you know, created new spaces, some new storylines here and there, some, and like some really great stuff, actually. Absolutely loved playing this. And I think this is something that like, they went a little more wild that I would like to see for a, you know, a CE remake, obviously, but they kind of you know, went off and did their own thing, made the kind of like their own game almost in a way. It was a really cool package. And so I think something like to take, you know, little bits and pieces from right now, grab some cut weapons, some cut missions, things like cut enemies and things like that as well. I mean, we could even see like the Juggernaut, which was cut content back in Halo 2, which was conceptualized back in Combat Evolved, put that into Halo CE which would be really freaking cool, right? I think there's there's a lot that they could go and expand upon while also maintaining this faithfulness to it. Again, the big, the big question is like, are we gonna get sprint in the game? I think honestly, if you did maybe a Halo Reach style sprint, right? Where it's like an armor ability or something like that you could bring into it, where it's like temporary sprint or something where you get exhausted, just like, so you could just check the box, but not really to change the gameplay a whole lot, right? Cause like ultimately you're playing the campaign and so you don't need to worry too much about like, the sprint it make the game unbalanced, right? Like you don't have to worry about that. I think maybe like having like a temporary exhausted sprint meter or something like that would work uh, with Combat Evolved. Of course, then they could be like adding sprint into Halo C. Ugh. You know, people lose their freaking minds. Maybe that, maybe add clamber as well as a mechanic because like pretty much every game now, every FPS game out there has clamber. Overwatch doesn't have clamber yet. Overwatch is a different game. It's a different game though. I don't know, like it could, I mean, you could also get away without having sprint. I just feel like it would really date the game without sprint in the game. Having like full on sprint like you have in Halo Infinite, I think would break the the gameplay a lot. You don't want to change like how the characters interact with the, you know, with the enemies, right? Like you want the enemy players, the enemy combatants to feel the same rank as Combat Evolved because it still holds up to this day. That's how good CE's gameplay was. You have sprint, you probably just run circles around people. You don't want that happening. Uh, I could see maybe updating the movement of Combat Evolved, right? Where it doesn't feel so floaty or like you're on ice skates kind of thing, right? It'll feel, tighten that up a little bit, right? So it maybe feel more like Halo Infinite's movement, right? Where it's like real snappy, quick, like you can crouch and you can strafe left and right, you know, on a dime kind of thing. Feel like, you know, really agile with it. Where Combat Evolved, it felt really weighty, felt kind of slidey almost in a way. I'd also probably tighten up the spread on weapons in the game, which is kind of tough to say, tough to do really, because again, that's part of the, the fundamental mechanics of the game. But like a lot of times when you're shooting that Magnum in Combat Evolved, it might not, you, know, you can line up a shot perfectly, but you're shooting it like, why is it not hitting the head? You know, kind of thing. Well, it's because it has hidden bloom mechanics and 
you know, that doesn't really get showcased with the UI. Maybe you have a UI update that shows Bloom, but of course then people will be like, you added Bloom in the Halo. But there was always Bloom in Combat Evolved. It, people, it just wasn't showcased within the uh, the UI, so people didn't realize it really. I think like, yeah, tighten up the spread on weapons, tighten that movement a bit more, add some cut weapons, add some cut missions. You know, maybe even do like a storyline of, but well, there was an elite that was like actually like hunting, like being like a headhunter on Chief during, on combat, during Combat Evolved. It's kind of external lore stuff, but it'd be cool to do like a let's play as the Arbiter type missions, right? In Combat Evolved. Of course, that would be a pretty heavy lift to like completely create new missions like that. But if they find a way to kind of like grab some old content that maybe maybe stuff like maybe stuff like that was already kind of half baked or something, they can bring it put and put it into the game as well to kind of expand on it. So like you have some new weapons, maybe some new missions that were like half baked. You could probably put in some cut content, things like that. That's something I think definitely could be added into a combat evolved remake and plus it'll be a great chance to see what halo looks like in unreal engine 5 right a good launching point right there to kind of get the community familiarized with it you know something or with the new engine right some things might feel a little different in unreal compared to blam right that's mainly probably gonna be physics more than anything else things that you'd simulate within the game rather than like how tight the movement is because i think you can tweak that pretty easily honestly and so i think that's something that i wouldn't really, really worry too much i think more just like physics emulation i think would be the thing to worry most about there's like a lot you can do with it but i think also you want to stay rather faithful i mean we saw this happen with resident evil 4 right that remake people love that remaster like because they brought that game up to the modern era or i didn't play resident evil 4 remake for, but every account i've heard that like people just loved it right people loved resident evil remake like it was a nominated for game of the year if i remember correctly yeah it was nominated for game of the year this is like the game awards like the place to go for it resident evil 4 capcom it's just a remaster or remake actually this is more it's a remake not a remaster nominated for game of the year which i just think is wild Yes, yeah, it was a smash hit. People loved it. It revitalized the Resident Evil franchise so much. This is the potential that Halo could have. If you make a Combat Evolved Anniversary 2.0 in Unreal Engine, put it on PlayStation as well for their Project Latitude, this is like the potential Halo could have because people love Combat Evolved. The gameplay holds up. It's a, It feels dated, right? But it's enemy encounters really do hold up. And so it's more about how can 343 tighten things up a little bit to make it feel more modern and not so sluggish and you know inconsistent that like CE can be to where they can get the, potentially get that. That was how that would be exactly how you revitalize the franchise. But that's our hopes and goals with a remake of CE to get like that kind of type of treatment. Of course, then you got to be faithful to it, but you also got to modernize it, and that's a really fine line you gotta ride especially when it comes to halo but i think it's possible i think it's very doable the potential's there they just gotta be able to do it you know we, as we all know with 343 uh execution has been the biggest issue when it comes to them developing halo because they've always had like massive ideas of what they wanted to do with halo they you know i, I always felt like 343's biggest issue has been being too ambitious with what they want for their titles by enough more that they can actually chew right halo 4 i think was like their, their only game i think they really fully released but of course we all know halo 4 was well halo 4 <laughs> right <laughs> Sheesh. but then we had like halo mcc complete flop you know completely busted at launch and then you had halo 5 which had, was drip fed content which was a pretty good release but like we lost a lot of great features along with it as well especially with like armor customization that was kind of like you know you had like reach level customization and also halo 4 had great customization as well and to go to the halo 5 where all you could change is like your helmet and your body it's like bro what? Yeah, you know, we're, we're taking a step back in that situation. The lack of content, right? Like no BTP, no Forge at launch, no in infection. Like all these modes that people keep talking that they want back in the release of Halo wasn't, were not there. You get Infinite and then they're kind of drip-fed bit of content. That, especially with Infinite, they bit off way more than they could actually chew with that game because completely reworking the multiplayer, completely reworking what we thought of what campaign can be in Infinite with like an open world style campaign. Which I honestly, honestly, I thought the campaign turned out pretty fun. I really enjoyed it, uh, but it's not really. It's never was a game where I felt like I really wanted to go back and play. But maybe that just could be because like there's so many great games out there nowadays. I don't really go back and play games. I just kind of play it one time through and I move on to the next thing. So it could be a little bit of that why I didn't play Infinite's campaign another time through. And then completely reworking the Blam engine from the basement up again. Like that's huge overhauls that they were doing with Infinite to make it into something again. We showed another example buy enough more they could chew it's a constant thing that's happening with 343 and i really hope with their next experience they have a really focused 
idea that what they want to do that's obtainable within a certain time frame that you can actually accomplish. <laughs> that's my biggest concern with 343 making a game because the stuff that they can make ends up being pretty good. What's there is good. It's just that a lot of times it's missing things or we have to wait for some things to come out or it's just completely cut, you know? That's my opinions on the Combat Evolved remake. I think it's very obtainable. Highest potential, we could get like Resident Evil 4 level treatment when it comes to a remake. That we could re it could just one game could completely revitalize Halo. 